Okay, so, so I I do not like coincidences in movies, so sometimes they come yeah. up. Yeah. Uh, and so the coincidence I'm feeling here is that Ray and Finn take off in the Millennium Falcon. Okay. And then the first people they see are Han and Chewie. Um, and Han okay. and Chewie say that they're scanning the entire galaxy for the Millennium Falcon signals. Okay. Does this make sense? Let's listen. Solo, why are we here again? Get your droid on a clean ship. Clean? You think it was luck that Chewie and I found the Falcon? We can find it on our scanners. The first order is not far behind. So he's saying that the Millennium Falcon is not a clean ship, which means it's detectable from basically anywhere in the galaxy. So yeah. if somebody's looking for it, they can find it based on its unique signature. Okay. So if he knows that, why... Why not deal with it when you're in the Millennium Falcon? Like turn off. Oh, okay. So, so I guess a couple scenarios. One is that Chewie and Han put a tracker like themselves on the Millennium Falcon because they yeah. were like, we're going to lose it, but we're going to come back for it one day. And the reason they haven't found it until now is because the Millennium Falcon wasn't on. So once it's on, yeah. then the tracker turns on. But if Chewie and Han put the tracker on the Millennium Falcon themselves, then they know about it, which means they can turn it off which means that Millennium Falcon then becomes a clean ship. Um, yeah. Another scenario is that the Millennium Falcon is just trackable, and mm -hmm. which means you need to get rid of it as soon as possible, which means they, they held on to it way too long. Way too long. They need to get rid of it. It's a useless ship at this point. If it's that, like the, the signature is built into the engine somehow, and you'd have mm -hmm. to do a full overhaul, not impossible, get rid of the ship, dump it somewhere. And if that's true, then why isn't the First Order here already? Because if it's so trackable, then the First Order should get here. And, and how did they beat Han to it? I think the only explanation is that Han and Chewie just happened to be nearby when when um, Finn and Ray left Jakku, which is just a coincidence. Just... Yeah, so even if it is trackable across the galaxy, mm -hmm. there's still travel time. Right. There's still got to get there. It's not just easy to go get. Right. So that means they have to be close and be listening. Right. They're, they're not right. like... You know, sitting in a bath somewhere, right? You know, on a on a, in a hotel, and like, oh, I gotta go. Oh, hey, oh, yeah. So, feels so weird. yeah, feels weird. feels feels weird. Weird coincidence that like the people that need to be here are here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 